Hi there, Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your September 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from In The Stars by Chrissy.com. Now, September is really a month wherein there's a lot of energy in place, and because Mars retrograde in Aries is happening this month, you know, we can actually see that this Martian quality is going to be very much internalized and it's going to affect not just you but each and every one of us. So it's going to be very interesting how this might play out to each and every sign. Now without any further ado, let's just dive into the reading. Um, um, yeah, for you Virgos out there, please do note that this is a general reading, so it may or may not really necessarily tuning into each and every Virgos out there since we do have a lot of Virgo people in the world as we speak. So, um, yeah, uh, this is, you know, your first card for this reading, you have the King of Wands, and this is a very a card that brings out a lot of energy in place you could be in a relationship right now or you could be in a situation wherein there's a lot of feelings some form of energy bubbling into the surface of things this could be you know uh, if you are in a relationship this could be the person that you are in a relationship with maybe they want a change of pace you know they are feeling some form of energy out inside of them that you know wanting to burst out like wanting for adventure wanting some form of change some form of shakeups definitely in place in terms of your relationships at this time so it is being crossed over by the seven of wands which really you know gives me a feeling because we do have a huge wands energy over here and wands all about passion igniting and all about energy it basically it's a very martian quality especially for for you guys libra you are going to be feeling this and this might turn very much internalized when it comes to your emotions all at the same time with the seven of wands crossing over this card of the king of wands i would say that there could be something that needs to overcome maybe maybe you are coming to a point wherein you want to assert yourself wanted wanting to say your own opinion to someone maybe to fight back if you feel you are in the back seat for quite too long so because we do have the foundation card of the seven of swords over here so that creates a lot of complications you know we have two sevens and sevens are are very much linked to frustration most of the time because there is some form of effort that needs to to manifest or to be done basically and with the seven of swords in your foundation card of the reading this has a lot to do with you know maybe you're you're thinking overthinking basically the things that comes into your mind are on the negative side you know and you know maybe it has a lot to do with manipulation as well or maybe you're thinking that you are being manipulated those things um can occur but with the seven of swords you know this could be a situation wherein maybe you, you are clashing with your partner or you are clashing with with someone in particular maybe they are not giving you what you want and you are at the point wherein you feel that you need to do something about it in the recent past we do have the six of wands actually and this is actually a very wonderful card which is all about gifts and victory and you know everything at ease it could be a situation wherein someone actually entered into your life or maybe they offered you something of you know this is a card of good tithing so it, it gives me a feeling wherein you know some form of answers has been given to you or at the very least something actually made you feel really really good all at the same time so you know it's a very wonderful wonderful card and it's telling us that this has already entered into your life and the top of the reading the top of the when i say the top of the reading this is actually what is in your mind in your consciousness or um it's like 
a goal or framework that is happening in inter into your life so and you have here the six of cups and the six of cups is yes has a lot to do with the past and but at the same time it has a lot to do with loving energy and wanting to feel good and feel better it is a very i would say a very watery energy wherein you're focusing on your emotions and all of that it could be that you're thinking of um i would say maybe you're thinking of of the things of the past that seems really wonderful in the relationship you're thinking of someone in particular in the past or i would say that i don't really think that this has a lot to do with the past with your top of the reading it really gives me a feeling wherein you want to be with someone and you want for things to be better and you're really really focused on that you know you're focus you're, you're focusing on attaining emotional connection with someone but with the wands energy and the swords energy happening over here it gives me a feeling we're in that is not really be being attained well or you could also be in a situation where in you know an offer is being made because we do have the knight of cups over here as well and the ace of pentacles with the your energy and the other person it gives me a feeling where in someone enters your life or someone offers you a new beginning or a chance for a new beginning all of those kind of things being backed up by the six of of wands it gives me a feeling we're in you know you are about to venture to a new a new a new beginning of some kind and it could be that you know what drives you to to engage with that is that the feeling of wanting to be with someone wanting to to have an emotional connection with someone someone to call your own you know because there's a lot of partnership um, cards over here give me a sense for in you don't want to be alone you want to have some form of belonging you want some form of love all of those kinds of things are in place your near future card you do have the page of pentacles now this is actually quite of a, a complicated card to deal with because um, yes it is the card of a messenger meaning it could have a lot to do with um, messages and news being shared out it could be something some form of news might come into your life within the month but all at the same time it gives me a feeling we're in this can turn into a positive thing or a negative thing all at the same time but the idea of the page of wands is putting focus into something it can mean that you know whatever decisions that you might come across this month you have to think about them very thoroughly um, whether you're you are handling your decisions and emotion emotional decisions through a, a very logical standpoint or in a in a very romantic standpoint and what i mean by that by that is that you know there are certain relationships wherein you are thinking about practicality wise and there are certain relationships when wherein you are just focusing on love itself and what true love is all about so this is telling you that before you make any certain decisions you really really need to think about them very carefully make sure you're not regretting it all at the same time and make sure that you know at the end of the day um, it is something that's going to make you happy as a whole so um, also if you feel that there is something sketchy in all of that that is like a warning to hold off in any major decisions as well However, we do have the um, the Queen of Pentacles over here and the overall card of the reading with the Nine of Cups. Now, the Nine of Cups is a very wonderful card. I mean, even people not related to Tarot would know that the Nine of Cups has a lot to do with, you know, um, fulfillment of your wishes. You know, there is something really wonderful out here for a lot of you guys. So this could be, you know, maybe an opportunity might present itself to you. It can, it can be too good to be true, yes, but it will definitely give you some form of um, a chance to, to have some form of, I'd say, good tidings 
wealth um you know there is some form of happiness right here as all at the same time so um definitely this this can be an answer to all of your problems but i also feel that you know there could be a sense wherein you might come to a point wherein you might feel trapped in making a de certain decision so i really don't know uh what's holding you back but um whatever opportunities that comes into you right now i feel that it can be a big answer and a big help um as you move forward with your life this can also mean we're in the nine of cups you know on a on another perspective is dealing with someone who is too full of themselves but um with how things are with the overall layout of the reading i do apologize i won't be able to show you guys the, the all of the cards since you know, as you guys know i am now in front of my my laptop recording since um, my computer broke down and all of that so i won't be able to show but i can say for sure that i feel that there is some form of practicality in relationships in here you know this is not just about love that we are talking about it's not just about emotions there is something real into this you know maybe finances could be a number one issue here as well or um yeah like some form of finances or material changes could be in the picture as well i would say and you know it's not just about love or maybe you are coming into that conclusion that that nowadays it cannot be just love itself we need to be smart we need to be more practical with how we deal with things or with how we we make decisions when it comes to love and relationships because in your astrodise we do have the the sign of venus planet venus rather in the sign of capricorn in the 10th house this can actually you know give me an impression wherein love in itself has a link to some form of responsibility to you right now in because this is this has the existence of the 10th house it could also be that your love and career are somehow in line somehow linked together it could be that you are you know making some form of partnership with your own lover when it comes to doing business and all of that so um yeah i would say that this is still a very positive reading for you virgos and it can be a new venture in place wherein a new beginning can really come about wherein you might have the idea or the whatever scenario that is going to come for you is going to present itself this month and you know this can be the solution that you have been seeking on maybe for the past few months not just in terms of your career life but also in terms of your love life as a whole so but yes i do advise to think about this very much carefully and thoroughly this is not going to be a very romantic endeavor that is definitely what i can say but this can give you some form of answers that you are seeking so um yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me with this reading virgo and um yeah i'll see you guys again next month if you do want a more personal reading just like this one you can do that by booking a session through my web my website in the stars by and yeah if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do so i would really appreciate that and that will really help me very much greatly please do like share and subscribe if you find this video helpful i'll see you guys again next month